Hi, welcome to Optimization.com. Today we are going to show you how to install OpenPOM 2.0 on my MacBook. Um, as you can see, I'm using uh, MacBook. I mean uh, OS X 10.7. They call it Lion. So before you start installing OpenPOM, you have to update your OS up to uh, the current version 10.7. Um, and also you also have to have a, a Xcode installed and it's available for um, for once you once you are um, registered as an Apple developer and it's it's free and the thing is that I am using uh, Xcode um, uh, 4.1 um, I believe the, the most current version is 4.2 um, I'm not sure so once you have that then you're ready to install some of the stuff that you need to install uh, open foam um, be because OS X didn't came with came up with their own um, you you actually have to install a Mac something called Mac ports that allows you to um, allow you to um, use the GCC or uh, open source solver um, to compile your own solver and it's very it's very conveniently uh, located at backports.org and so it's very easy to install because um, you have to um, click on the lion and it's ready to go I mean you just have to install it just like uh, just like you install any other um, software um, just double click on this one okay, continue I downloaded this Mac ports but that's not done yet so I am going to uh, install GCC 4.5 and I'm gonna be using a uh, terminal or you can use X11 so it's here so I'm just gonna open the terminal and type in sudo super user port install gcc45 and okay so this this should so uh it's already installed on my computer so at the end of the it's gonna take a while and once you have that ready and if you check your GCC version GCC um, dash dash and version um, then you should be able to see that I'm using uh, 4.5 and 3 okay so that's one step closer and then we're going to install uh, open MPI based on uh, GCC 4.5 again. So you use the Mac port again by typing sudo uh, port install open MPI plus GCC 45. Okay, um, technically it's gonna take you um, many many uh, hours. It took me, I think it took me about like a three or four hours um, three hours so um, it's a good idea to leave your computer on so and then we're going to use um, install I mean download this um, open foam um, for Mac so here's the link okay uh, you're gonna have to download this um, Mac OF 2.0 point X and the download should start automatically pretty soon okay so it's uh, about like 200 megabytes so it's gonna take a while so let me see these files and the patches were uh, developed by this guy uh, Bernard um, on the CFD online forum and there's a uh, this is very 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 useful uh, information you can find on this forum and and 
all reply replies are very uh, important and so I uh, don't forget to um, and also you have to download this readme because it's very important um, uh, documentation um, as you can tell from this title it here okay I'm gonna uh, pull up so um, so basically uh, what you're downloading it here is um, it's pretty pre pre-built um, source code and uh, it's already compiled um, but because uh, what I uh, what I had to do was to I had to recompile it actually because the, the open MPI configuration was adjusted um, since the update so um, okay the download was complete um, so this zip this zip file will be extract and uh, there will be one uh, single DMG file um, which can be uh, mounted whenever we want it and according to their uh, readme file so okay um, now we have this sparse image and I'm going to uh, mount it by uh, double clicking on that so I'm following this step 2 and then uh, I think it's um, it's ready so uh, I'm now ready to move to the step 3 do this in terminal so this is my terminal and CD go to um, I mean I have to redirect this amount uh, image to uh, something called open foam as, uh, as far as uh, volume Mac which is uh, which is this image uh, mounted on my uh, volume and I'm just gonna call it open foam from two um, it's probably because I already have this one here so but you should have you shouldn't have any problem just calling open phone okay um, go to uh, CD open phone and do this again document um, OF user and I'm gonna put my name Sean Point zero point x okay um so I have to go to um try to open um this hidden file profile okay so I have to add this line on this image so uh, so I added this copy this file into here okay on my uh, profile on the home directory and then and then um, Okay, then I'm gonna quit, quit the terminal and reopen it. So it should be ready, according to them. Uh, but uh, I think we have to, we still have to, um, uh, uh, so we are done with this readme file. And so we are done up to here. No, here. So we're done from here. So we're going to do the the open MPI setting change. So what I have to do is I I have this open open form image loaded already. So if I go to um, CD open form um, and then uh, go look at 
um, this file site and 2.01 um, and look at this preference so and then search for It's on the line. So just search for um, open MPI all the way to the. So you have to change this line. Specify system open MPI. So you have to change. Um, So, uh, so this is correct one. So you have to have system open MPI as the the open I mean open MPI library. Okay, and then okay. Um, once that once you have that done, and um, it's a good idea to uh, recompile your open form because um, because we may be using a different setting preference for open if especially for open MPI so, um, so go to um, mounted image and uh, on your home open form directory um, uh, W clean all will clean everything which I'm not gonna do here and then that all the remake will recompile everything so um, that will take for a while so okay so let's see uh, let's say we have everything done and uh, why don't we just run one of the tutorial case and, okay um, I'm just gonna copy uh, one of the tutorial from here tutorial tutorial incompressible out the cavity case okay, this cavity here. okay now that now I have this cavity folder in my front folder so that I don't lose any of the tutorial original tutorial file so I'm gonna um, run um, gonna be running okay my cavity section a uh, cavity folder I'm gonna I have all the uh, all the folder that need uh, the initial condition and the constant in the system so do that by uh, start by making a mesh file using a block mesh and then run ICO foam and after a few seconds, it's ready. So, Paraform will generate this. Um, oops. Okay, so I'm gonna be opening this. Go to run folder, cavity, and Okay, so this is the uh, cavity simulation. Um, I want to see velocity and oops, it's too fast. Okay, two, three, four, five. Pressure. Um, velocity. The same or yeah that's it so um that will uh, complete our first tutorial for um, installing Mac OS X um, I hope you find this one very easy and uh, uh, I'll, I'll definitely work more on uh, my uh, webcasting skill more um, thank you.